Okay, very good. So that's one question. Another question comes comes from uh, Reb Shmuel Yitzchak Eisenberg. He asks, does and by the way, there's another person who actually touched on the top on this that no speakers spoke about Suffolk Medir Eisel Chimra. So maybe this could be part of a much larger topic. He uh, so Shmuel Yitzchak Eisenberg asks, does Suffolk Medir Eisel Chimra does that apply to Tchelas? My understanding has always been that we always that we only say Lechumra when we know after the fact that we fulfill the mitzvah with 100% certainty, such as if we don't remember we said benching, we bench again because now we know we fulfilled the mitzvah. By tchelas, are we at 100% certainty or only are we only at 99.9%? Okay, so let me answer that on several levels. First of all, we are at 100% certainty because um, 99.9% is 100% certainty. There is a hakdume of the Milchames, uh, the Rambam in his hakdume to the Saifa Milchames Hashem. He writes that the Torah is not mathematics, where things get proven like mathematically, where something is clearly, it's black and white. The way we build a halucha is when something seems to be the halucha, then that is certainly the halucha. We have Acheram Lahatos in the Torah. We have all kinds of means. It's not that way. It's not like a mathematical equation. So he says that that is that something we apply even to uh, administer Dina Nefushis. We go with such a thing as certainty. So when we have these Rayas, these Rayas are Mechaim. That's one. Additionally, the Chazoin Ish in the Saifa Masa Ish is quoted to have said in connection to the Chaluzin of the Radzina, that even if there would only have been a tzel tzilo shel sufik, which uh, in our language means a shadow of a doubt, that the Chaluzin of the Radzina is correct, all of the gedolim of his time would have been mechiv to wear it, only because of a tzel tzilo shel sufik, that would have been enough to be mechai of all the gedolim of the times of the Radzina to wear the tchayis. And the fact that they didn't is because they knew that there isn't even a shadow of a doubt. It totally is wrong. It had, there's no chance that this is uh, the chaluz. And as I mentioned from the Yishis Malkoi, he says it's only a hashur. It's nothing more than a guess. You can just as easily point to any organism in the sea and say that's what it is. It's, it's, a, you know, it's a blindfolded guess. Then, let's get to the question of Sufik Deray Islam. Yes, there is such a shit. It is not the Ikeshit al Halucha that we were only Mekayim Sufik the Rais al Khimri if after the Kiyam we know for sure we were Mekayim. We find that if we have uh, an Esrig, which is a Sufik, if it's Mirkiv or not, we have uh, all kind all times that we have a mitzvah that it's a Sufik, the Poiskim say you should do the mitzvah in Sufik, even though at the end of it maybe you weren't Mekayim the mitzvah, but we still do the mitzvah. We find this many times in Halucha. So it is not the normative Halucha. There is such a shit. But it isn't the normative halucha. The ikishita is that sufik deraiz to the applies even when uh, we, we we remain with the sufik afterwards. But again, that's all not relevant because we don't have a sufik. We have a vaday. As Rabbi Belsky the said once when he was asked, he, someone asked him, somebody who was trying to say that it's not chayz. Said, "Do you think after all that I said, somebody kind of tried to build an argument that it's not correct? Do you think after all that I said, there's still a chance?" That the Chalud, that the Murex Trunculus is the Chaluzin of the Tchailis? And his answer was, it's a Vadai. In other words, I don't think it's a chance. I think it's a Vadai. It is certainly the Tchailis. And as such, the whole discussion of Sufik Darais Lechimre is not relevant. Shkayach. 